Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about a rumor, a rumor that Pedro Pascal is going to be playing Mr. Fantastic in Disney's Fantastic Four re re reboot. I don't is know one, two, how three, many they had. The fourth time's a charm, I guess, because they had the original low budget one. And then they had the 20th Century Fox, the first 20th Century Fox one with uh, Chris Evans as Human Torch. And then they had the other one, which I've never seen, the the, the more serious take. On I did. Fantastic it was Four. okay. It yeah. wasn't great. Uh, I, I don't have an interest in seeing a more serious take on the Fantastic Four, but they're talking he might be Reed Richards. He looks nothing like Reed Richards, uh, you know, but he looked uh, nothing like uh, Joel in The Last of Us either. And I guess they made that work. So we'll talk about this because people are upset now because they're starting to realize that, hey, he's not going to be back in The Mandalorian Season 4 because, you know, uh, they put a chick in it, they made her gay, and they made it lame. Yeah. No, uh, actually, I like Katie Sackhoff, but, like, I, I don't agree with how they pass the mantle on to her throughout the course of the show, you know? Um, so let's talk about this. Again, this is just a rumor. But before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, go out to shopclownfish.com, secure a copy of Shadowbinders Volume 3 hardcover coming out next summer, next summer, and you can also pick up uh, copies of 1 and 2, and uh, yeah, we're we're well overfunded, thank you so much, you have six days left if you want to pick that up, first new Shadowbinders content from Clownfish Studios in 10 years, so we're pretty excited thank about you. that. Um, so yeah, let's uh, talk about the big rumor, which is he's he's rumored rumored to play Reed Richards in Fantastic Four, and Disney would totally do it because he's got a good relationship with Disney, and he's kind of a hot commodity right now because of The Last of Us, and they absolutely positively would make him Reed Richards. But it's this rumor. I mean, I can see him doing it. He would be not, he'd be not, he's not good for the part. Sorry. No. I, he's, he's not Reed Richards. I don't believe for one minute. But because he's hot and he's in The Last of Us and everything else, they're going to, when he's friends with them because of The Mandalorian, he's not right for the part. I'm sorry. That's a bad idea. Plus, like I said, it's all rumor. It's not official at this point in time. It's just coming from sources. I want to make sure I make that clear. Yeah. Insiders. Insiders. He's like, what? How many casting people have they said they've had? They've, they've been two or three different. Oh, it was supposed to be. Um, Adam Driver. Adam Driver was one. And there was he, another one. And then they were, John Krasinski was going to do it again. And they have, they've had several rumors. People were expecting them to announce the actors for this, for this show, film, whatever it is. They were expecting them to announce this back at... Um, D23 of last year? Yeah. Um, or the Destination. One of the ones, maybe with the winter one. But anyway, they were expecting announcements last year. Didn't get them. People were like, where are the announcements? They, and they expected it the summer. Didn't get them. They, so I think they're they're doing some tinkering on this one. They cannot afford to get this one wrong. And no, and, and I'm going to tell you right now, Pedro Pascal, right off the bat, you have it wrong. I, I don't think he's right for Mr. Fantastic. I'm sorry. I mean, I will agree in the regards that they got at least they got somebody older to play Reed Richards because Reed Richards is in his 30s, 40s. You know, even when he first appeared, the guys always had white hair on the side of his head, you know. So he is he is middle aged. And uh, so at least they got that right because the yeah, big, but Pedro Pascal ain't it. Sorry, no, Pedro Pascal ain't it. Um, I don't think so, but uh. Anyway, they said, yeah, they, the source has told Deadline that he's in talks to play the leader. They said it's about the scheduling. It depends if he can make it work with his schedule because he's in such such demand. I don't understand. These women are all like, thirsting after him all the time. I don't get it. I don't see it. He just looks like a... Just Henry like a, Cavill get. He just looks like a Pedro guy. Pascal completely don't understand it at all. Well, Henry Henry Cavill, there, yeah, he couldn't do Mr. Fantastic. He's too buff. No, 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 no. I'm not saying he should be Mr. Fantastic. I'm saying I get away people thirst after him. And there's men that thirst after him as well. Pedro Pascal, I don't, I don't, I'm sorry. Okay, I thirst after his his gaming skills. I thirst after yeah. his ability to paint minis. I have seen lots of men being like, I'm straight and I would date Henry Cavill. No, because you wouldn't actually do anything with it. You just you just go on dates to the game store and to the arcade. So you just want the, like a friend to go. You just want a buddy. Dates. Yes. But Pedro Pascal, I just don't understand it. But I I don't, I just don't see it. I'm sorry, I just don't see it. <laughs> Women are all like, so can Mr. Fantastic stretch everything? Uh, yes. Yes, That's yes what you he can. Know. That's exactly what we ask. That'd be the first thing. Yes. That'd be the first can. thing I'd ask. Does well, everything stretch? That's like I was sitting there thinking about like the Incredibles. I'm like, man, I bet, I bet Mrs. Incredible had really easy deliveries. 
Yes, I, I, I'm sure she did. I mean, seriously, those Just kids opens it up, reach right in and pull it out. I'll yeah, those it. those those kids, they came out uh, as toddlers, you know, and they just walked right out. That's right. That's, that's how that worked. Uh, Dash ran out. I mean, Dash. oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Could you see them doing a short? Fast. It's like that Doritos commercial because the guy's got the chips and the baby just pops out because he wants the chips or whatever. Oh, my God. Fastest <laughs> delivery ever. Record breaking. <laughs> um, I'm just I just I just don't get this one. I, I, I Again, it's a rumor. It was like it's like what is the dumbest thing we can do with this? Or one of the worst, ca- what, what, I wouldn't say it's the worst casting choice, but what is a casting error that we could do to, you know, guarantee backlash? I know. Yeah. Yeah, no. So somebody says, yeah, they put John Krasinski in the movie as Reed Richards, and then they go cast someone else to be Reed Richards. Make up your mind. No. We have two versions. Why do we need another one? Um, Pedro, this is not the right choice. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't I don't hate Pedro Pascal, but he's not right for Reed Richards. I don't think he's he's right. Well, that's it. It's a desperate grab. So basically, I think what they're looking at is I have to wonder, was John Krasinski and Emily Blunt, were they the original choice, you know, to to put because I think they're they're perfectly cast. Were they the original choice? And then it was like, well, Krasinski is not enough of a name. To- no, it's called they aren't they're, they're too white. Oh, okay. Is that what they're oh too my god. White. Yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest here. It was it's so important who plays. Yes, it is because that the character has to be similar. Be similar. They keep doing this. They keep casting based on who they're friends with or who they think. Because oh, this is a popular show and they were in that. Not by you know who is probably best for the role. And I'm sorry, Pedro Pascal. I was talking to Mike who writes for us, and he said I think Doctor Doom maybe, and I can see Doctor Doom before I can see Reed Richards. Well, yeah, because because he's ugly and he puts a mask on. He doesn't want to no. be behind a mask. <laughs> That is not what I said. No, no. But he doesn't want, no. No, he doesn't he has, masks. That's right. He has to have FaceTime. Yeah, he doesn't want to wear a mask. I hit the mic with my chin because I laughed so hard. Anyway, that was what thump. that thumping was. It was oh, my was face me. hitting the mic. That was her hitting me. Right. No, she it was, was my hitting face me. hitting the microphone if you heard that. Well, okay. I was like, what? So speaking of roles where he doesn't like to wear a mask and he's got all his FaceTiming that made no damn sense. The Mandalorian. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Mandalorian, he's apparently not going to physically appear in season four. Well, that's and, probably, well, they said a lot of the time it's not even him playing it. Yeah. He's off doing other stuff. A lot of times it's other actors that are playing it and they're not getting all the credit. Just use an AI actor, digital um, actor at this point. And speaking of Star Wars, what we're talking about Star Wars, did you hear about Taika Waititi's comment? Uh, yeah. So Taika Waititi is still doing his movie even though Kevin Feige got his canceled, okay? And Taika Waititi was uh, at some you know press event for something. I forget. I don't even care. It was some something he was at. And they asked him about his film. And he's basically like, well, it'll be a Taika Waititi film. And it's going to piss people off. But I think I think the joke he's trying to make is everybody keeps getting mad about his films because, like, with his Marvel stuff, he goes too jokey. And sometimes, he just, you know, it depends if people like it, some people don't. And some of his stuff pisses people off. I think that was me- he's meant to be a joke. But I wouldn't have said that given the status of Star Wars right now. Yeah, it's that's the thing. It's like, I mean, look, Disney, if, if you want to fix Marvel and you want to fix Star Wars, hiring people that are going to intentionally antagonize your dwindling fan base is never a good move. It's never a good move. Um, that There's this other rumor out there since we're talking, since we're just dumping all the Marvel news, I guess, in the one, one video here. And we Star got Wars date news. night tonight, so. Yeah, right? So there we go. We'll just dump it all into a video and call it a day. Um, yeah, so... There is a, a rumor that uh, Kevin Feige might, because the, the rumor the other day was he might get ousted from Marvel if like Perlmutter Mutter has his his way with it. But now they're saying, oh no, he might just jump from Marvel to Star Wars and Kathleen Kennedy steps down and then they get somebody else to run So they're going to send Feige over there to ruin that one? Probably. I mean, he did okay as long as there was a plan. And as soon as the plan was gone and he had to run it himself, it, yeah. went, it got run into the ground. Yeah. So, yeah, just jump ship, you know, jump out of that burning building. And according to the She-Hulk chick, she was just bowling him around right and left because it was a dude and he wasn't going to tell her no. So let's put him at Star Wars. Let's, yeah. Hot oh, damn. Can't wait. Now we know what Son Aminat's role is. She's, she's, she's waiting in the wings to take over Marvel and it's going to be more I just like for a company trash. that is losing so much and everything's failing so hard. If these rumors are true, if they're true, and they might not be, they're just rumors. You know, I'll make sure I make that very clear. If they're true, though, 
It's like they're delivering. And you have to ask, are you deliberately trying to ruin these things? Because it doesn't make any sense. People are telling you they're voting with their wallets. Even the media is turning on you. South Park's turning on you. Yeah. On both, you know, Star Wars and Marvel and all this stuff. You're just a running joke. Your live actions, they made fun of that with Bambi. They're, everybody's laughing with South Park because they know it's true. And then you're going to go do more of the same. I mean, I... I yeah. So good luck with that. I mean, look, the Marvels wasn't enough and this is going to be hard. Like Fantastic Four, you have a lot to prove because you have two iterations of the franchise that didn't get off the ground. And the Fantastic Four was literally one of the best comics of all time for years. You're like, if you got Fantastic Four right and you got X-Men right and you got Spider-Man right, you could have a functional Marvel universe. You just had to get there because they're the only ones that matter in the 80s, 90s. But, but they're not going to because they're, they're too busy trying to. to pander or whatever, make decisions based on who they're friends with, who they think might bring people because they, they're hot right now. It's like, you know, Zoolander. Oh, my gosh, that's handsome. He's so hot right now. And it's like that. It's like, is that the best choice? Not necessarily. Would Owen Wilson make a better Mr. Fantastic? <laughs> I don't think so. That would be kind of hilarious. Ka-chow. Ka-chow. Like, um, no, it's Dr. Just, Doom. Hey, I ka-chow. Just, yeah. <laughs> Doctor Doom would be funnier. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, he's about like the guy who played. Uh, god, I hated Hot Doctor Doom. They did Hot Doctor Doom and the other uh, the other ones. I can't remember his name. He was from that Nip Tuck show or whatever. Oh, yeah. I'm like, no, Di- he's not menacing at all. He was like, he was just like some like like CEO. He was type. Doctor Doomy, am I right? Doctor mm. Doomy. I was like, come on! And he had his mask off most of the time, and then his mask wasn't even like. An actual mask, it was like he had, like, metal growing out of his face or something. I was like, what is this crap? Like, and then Galactus is a giant cloud. <laughs> I forgot They got that. the Silver Surfer right. I will give them that. I thought the Silver Surfer, I thought I thought he was good. I, I like the Silver Surfer. I like Chris Evans as Johnny Storm. Uh, I like the guy from wh- whoever the hell played Thing. The bald dude. Chickless? Michael Chickless? Yeah. Yeah, I thought he was really good. Um, Sue Storm and Reed Richards, they got wrong. But... You know, they got, yeah, they got Johnny Storm and they got Thing Wright and Silver Surfer. And that's, that's about it. But, but that yeah. casting choice is still better than Pedro Pascal. It's still better than Pedro Pascal. I just, yeah. I mean, I, and I'm, I'm hearing more people being like, that's a bad idea. But again, remember, it isn't necessarily confirmed. It is just rumor from like uh, one source. We don't know if it's even true, but we've heard how many different casting Adam Driver, all of a sudden, we've heard all of it. So it doesn't mean it's true. It could be just a bunch of bullshit. We don't even know. My my uh, perfect Reed Richards, and I know people are going to disagree with me. I don't uh, even care, but go Hugh, ahead. Hugh Laurie from about 20, 30 years ago. I think I would Reed Richards uh, off. I honestly didn't read the comics, so I, I, I think, couldn't I think tell you. House, like, I think he could have, I mean, he would have to be funnier, obviously, but I think... He, he started out in a comedy show, but I think he could pull off Reed Richards. But Not now. 20 or 30 years ago. Well, that doesn't help now. No, I know, but they've got technology. They can de-age him. De-age Hugh Laurie. Do AI Hugh Laurie. There you no. go. You can make him stretch in all kinds of directions. I mean, if you can make him stretch, you can make him Hugh younger. I stretch. I'm sorry. Some people probably do. I don't know. I don't want to see Pedro Pascal stretch either. No. Anyway, uh, there we go, guys. So we'll see what happens. I think they're they're basically going to try to get A-listers or who they think are A-listers uh, as Reed Richards and Sue, Sue Storm, even if they're not the right ones for the role. They did this with the other Fantastic Four, Jessica Alba. Like, she was hot then. It's like, she's a blonde. You know this, right? Like, Sue Storm's... Never mind. Totally bad casting choice but it's disney they're gonna disney right we're gonna wrap this up Mm -hmm. uh please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys we'll talk later bye